Ibrahim Traoré has just left Western corporations in total shock by banning gold exports. In numerous African countries, endowed with substantial gold reserves, a prevailing trend sees the majority of this precious metal being exported. This pattern involves the intervention of foreign entities, often Western corporations, who engage in the extraction of gold within these nations, subsequently transporting it back to their home countries. Regrettably, only a fraction of the resulting profits is typically reinvested in the African countries themselves, failing to uphold equitable profit-sharing practices or provide refined gold in return. This exploitative cycle significantly impedes the ability of these African nations to establish economic stability as their valuable resources are effectively being exploited for external gains. In a remarkable display of defiance against these exploitative norms, Ibrahim Traoré, the president of Burkina Faso, has undertaken a bold initiative to challenge this status quo. Recently, he issued a groundbreaking directive to halt all gold exports from Burkina Faso. Instead, the country has resolved to retain its gold reserves and leverage them to back its national currency. This strategic decision is aimed at enhancing the value of Burkina Faso's currency by positioning it as the exclusive global currency backed by gold. This pivotal move raises a crucial question. How did Ibrahim Traoré manage to implement the ban on gold exports? And what has been the response from the Western world to this transformative shift in the gold market? These compelling developments are further explored in the following video, shedding light on the unprecedented initiatives unfolding in Burkina Faso that challenge conventional expectations of African nations remaining dependent on external forces. Recent reports have unveiled Burkina Faso's significant strides towards achieving economic autonomy through the establishment of its own Treasury Deposit Bank under the leadership of Captain Ibrahim Traoré. The government has officially announced the inauguration of the Treasury Deposit Bank, BDT, by President Traoré on Friday, August 2, 2024, at its headquarters within the public treasury in Ouagadougou. The launch of the BDT signifies far more than the establishment of a new bank. It symbolizes a bold leap towards reclaiming the financial sovereignty of the nation. The primary objective of the BDT is to provide accessible banking services to all citizens through an extensive network spanning regional, provincial, and departmental treasuries, ensuring that individuals across the nation have equal access to these essential financial services. As a public financial entity, the Treasury Deposit Bank is poised to play a pivotal role in Burkina Faso's quest for economic independence and financial empowerment. The creation of the Treasury Deposit Bank stands as a testament to Burkina Faso's commitment to reshaping its economic landscape and fostering self-reliance. By establishing a financial institution that caters to the needs of all citizens, irrespective of their geographic location, Burkina Faso is taking proactive steps to ensure that the benefits of its resources are equitably distributed among its people. This move not only signifies a departure from the exploitative practices that have plagued many African nations, but also sets a precedent for other countries seeking to assert control over their natural resources and financial destinies. Through initiatives like the Treasury Deposit Bank and the ban on gold exports, Burkina Faso is charting a new course towards economic empowerment and sovereignty, inspiring similar movements across the African continent and beyond. The establishment of the Treasury Deposit Bank marks a significant milestone in Burkina Faso's quest for complete monetary independence. For years, Francophone nations such as Burkina Faso have been deprived of genuine central banking institutions, instead relying on entities like the Central Bank of West African States, often perceived as mere extensions of the Bank of France. This arrangement has enabled European countries without substantial gold reserves of their own to amass significant gold holdings, essentially acquired through the exploitation of African nations' resources. President Ibrahim Traoré is keenly aware of this exploitative dynamic, where foreign corporations extract vast quantities of gold from Burkina Faso while the country reaps minimal benefits from its own wealth. In response, Traoré has taken resolute action by prohibiting the export of gold and asserting control over the nation's resources. Under his guidance, the military junta has halted the issuance of export permits for artisanal and semi-mechanized gold and other valuable commodities with immediate effect. In essence, this means that no gold extracted within Burkina Faso will be allowed to leave the country's borders. 
Traoré has explicitly stated that this suspension aims to streamline the sector and enhance the organization of the marketing of gold and other valuable resources. The Treasury Deposit Bank is designed to cater to a diverse clientele, including public institutions, state-owned enterprises, local authorities, international organizations, private businesses, as well as individuals. Its primary mandate involves overseeing the banking operations of the public treasury, providing services such as account management, resource collection, and transaction processing. Additionally, the BDT will introduce digital payment methods and develop innovative banking services to adapt to the changing needs of its customers. This initiative represents a crucial stride for Burkina Faso as it strives to achieve full financial autonomy. By establishing a financial institution dedicated to managing the financial affairs of the public treasury, Burkina Faso is taking decisive steps towards ensuring that its monetary system is under its own control. The creation of the Treasury Deposit Bank underscores Burkina Faso's commitment to asserting sovereignty over its financial landscape and ensuring that the benefits of its resources are channeled back to its people. Traoré's bold actions, including the ban on gold exports and the reclamation of national resources, signal a new era of economic stewardship in Burkina Faso. By encouraging engagement with this transformative process and supporting initiatives like the Treasury Deposit Bank, individuals can actively participate in shaping a more equitable and self-sufficient economic future for the nation. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on Africa's geopolitical dynamics, economy, and evolving landscape. In Burkina Faso, an estimated 10 to 30 tons of gold are artisanally mined, and going forward, the nation is set to retain this gold alongside that extracted by foreign entities. Ibrahim Traoré is displaying a sense of urgency in implementing measures. The Boule de Mousse Hound region in the northwest of Burkina Faso has promptly witnessed the closure of 43 gold mining sites due to security apprehensions. However, Traoré's actions extend beyond merely banning activities. Burkina Faso's determined government recently achieved a significant milestone with the inauguration of the country's inaugural gold refinery, a pivotal step towards gaining control over its most prized mineral resource. Positioned in the capital, Ouagadougou, the refinery is anticipated to yield approximately 400 kilograms of gold daily, as disclosed by Isal Sabi, the CEO of Marina Gold, a company jointly overseeing the venture. Sabi announced that the refinery aims to produce its inaugural 22-carat gold bars within a mere 11 months. During the launch event, Burkina Faso's military leader, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, emphasized the significance of domestically refining gold. He emphasized that Burkina Faso will no longer need to export its gold for refining. Instead, all refining processes will be conducted within the nation, ensuring Burkina Faso comprehends the exact composition of its raw gold. Despite gold's pivotal role in Burkina Faso's economic framework, the nation has grappled with complete control over this vital resource. Traoré highlighted that a substantial portion of the gold exits the country through illicit channels, exacerbating persisting extremism. This transition towards local gold refining transpires amidst a backdrop where numerous African nations are turning to gold as a safeguard against currency devaluations and geopolitical uncertainties. Nations such as Mauritania, Uganda, Tanzania, and Madagascar have unveiled intentions to bolster their gold reserves and procure gold domestically. Apprehensions regarding the stability of the U.S. financial system and the potential politicization of the dollar are propelling these countries to diversify their reserves. Burkina Faso's recent establishment of a gold refinery marks a significant stride towards bolstering its economic independence, aiming to retain more wealth domestically and curtail the illicit flow of gold that has fueled violence and instability. The nation's plan to utilize this gold to build reserves signifies a pivotal move towards potentially launching its sovereign currency. Reports suggest that Burkina Faso's government is gearing up to introduce several amendments to the 2015 Mining Code, which underwent a recent update in July 2023. One of the key revisions includes the proposal to institute a national gold reserve, as disclosed during a Council of Ministers meeting in March 20, 2024. Ouagadougou intends to request mining firms to contribute towards establishing this reserve, 
exemplifying a shift towards true economic sovereignty that many African nations aspire to achieve. The updated mining code also encompasses fresh regulations governing the marketing of gold and other minerals, aiming to foster a more structured and regulated industry. Beyond the ban on gold exports, companies are now encouraged to allocate gold towards building national reserves, a move pivotal for Africa's quest for autonomy. Moreover, the revised mining code places emphasis on enhancing local involvement in the mining sector. It mandates mining enterprises to open up their share capital to Burkinabe investors, empowering local authorities to oversee and regulate mining operations effectively. Furthermore, the state's mandatory stake in mining companies, necessary for acquiring operational licenses for large or small mines, has been elevated from 10% to 15% by the conclusion of December 2022. Burkina Faso's reported uptick in artisanal gold production from 266 kilos in 2021 to 457 kilos in 2022 has notably augmented state revenue. Direct contributions to the state budget surged from 43.9916 billion CFA francs in 2021 to 54.944 billion CFA francs in 2022, reflecting a substantial increase of 110.068 billion CFA francs. Additionally, Gold export earnings reached an estimated 299.1 billion CFA francs, constituting 73.86648% of total revenue. What Captain Ibrahim Traoré has accomplished is undeniably remarkable. By halting gold exports and introducing a domestic gold refinery, the nation is poised to centralize its gold resources for the forthcoming state bank, which is intended to anchor the currency. This move implies a departure from the CFA franc, heralding the launch of a new currency backed by gold. Once implemented, Burkina Faso will break free from the colonial financial system, attaining the autonomy to manage its capital independently. The question arises, should other African leaders follow suit and prohibit gold and precious metals exports? Cooperation and unity among African nations could catalyze sustainable change, fostering prosperity across the continent. Africa's abundant natural resources hold immense potential for growth surpassing even that of Europe. Reclaiming control over these resources is crucial for Africa's advancement. Share your views in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and until the next video, stay engaged. Your feedback, likes, and shares are invaluable in supporting our work.